Okay, I got a question on just uh, going through my cancellation process and how I do it. Uh, so this is a, a video on um, how to cancel beliefs and my and my process as well, how I do it and my experience. Okay, I just want to give some background first. So cancelling beliefs. Um, I got to meet uh, Dr. David R. Hawkins um, and I was also studying his work before I went to meet him. And he talked about, you know, cancelling beliefs, like uh, I cancel my belief in um, kidney failure, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind, or I cancel my belief in gout or whatever. Uh, and how he was also simultaneously doing the Course of Miracles with his letting go process and, and, um, and how he, uh, 23 of his illnesses were released. And, and he explained this thing with muscle testing, uh, which I, would, I think I was already being exposed to him. I was already going to kinesiologists and I just intuitively knew everything he was saying was true. And um, I'd also just recently trained as a hypnotherapist. And uh, so here's some of the really important things uh, that were, were at the time quite profound. So with um, uh, multiple personality disorder, when, uh, when you get one personality taking over the consciousness, um, it can be non-diabetic and can eat as much food and stay thin. And, then, and when it switches to the other personality, which is very, very radical, and we can change eye color, be diabetic or non-diabetic, uh, you know, just literally change eye colors and being diabetic or not as you shift. So you see really that everything that manifests is a belief of such immense power. And as hypnotherapists, we are aware of that to some level, but I, I got it from what he said, that actually, you know, the profound power of beliefs, like in a split second, if I change my belief, that I got brown eyes to blue eyes, um, then I'd have blue eyes. So what's manifesting is just a result of the beliefs. And, I, and, and, also, and also, this is also learned some of this stuff on a more basic level in hypno hypnotherapy, is that, you know, like if you put, and there was a, a program on TV, it was Paul McKenna, Paul McKenna actually, a famous uh, uh, UK hypnotherapist. And, he, and they were showing like they're, put, they're hypnotizing someone and saying they're in the sun, in the desert, and they put his hand in a bucket of ice cubes. And, you know, and I know how they do this in hypnotherapy, you know, you intensify the sun, it's now burning your skin. And they took his hand out and his skin was actually burnt, even though it was in a bucket of ice cubes. So it just showed that what happens in the world is irrelevant. You know, there is no such thing as cold affecting you, ice cubes, things. And even uh, I was a biochemist, I I well, I studied as biochemistry. So I saw that all the, and he said it as well, he's a medical doctor, all these are just belief systems. These are medical belief systems. And so you just believe them. You know, it's all um, kidney failure, cancer, uh, all this stuff. I could see the belief system aspect of it. All, all that's necessary is to cancel it. So I was doing the Course in Miracles thoroughly. And I had three major illnesses, um, kidney failure, gout, asthma. I canceled those. To, uh, two of them, they all released within three to five years. And I was only like doing the Course of Miracles religiously and maybe spending a few minutes just cancel every day, morning and evening, canceling um, the beliefs. I cancel my belief in kidney failure. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief in gout. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Do that in the morning very quickly. And I do that again in the evening and, uh, and did the Course of Miracles. and three to five years, all those things, those miracles, and they released. It was more like exactly more or less the same experience as Hawkins. He released his illnesses in three to five years, or 23 of them, whatever. And I found that the same to be myself. And I wasn't doing it. I was doing the Course of Miracles aggressively, but the cancelings uh, for my specific illnesses very weakly. Um, so I now realize, uh, and I've changed my thing if I need to cancel something now, many, many years later, is I'll actually do a cancelling for maybe uh, 50, 100 times, twice, three times a day, just to get rid of it more quickly. So I do encourage that. Um, I, I probably could have cancelled this stuff out much faster if I had done more repetitions of the cancelling process. So 
Um, now, how I do it. So I had a near-death spiritual experience. I also had a white light spiritual experience with, um, I just changed the lighting here, with a teacher of enlightenment here in London. Um, and I, um, oops, something just come up on the screen. So I, all right. Okay, it's gone now. Okay, so um, having had that infinite heavenly experience, uh, you know, with my kidney failure, and also having seen this teacher of enlightenment, where um, he asked me what was beyond my thoughts, and there the infinite, I went into an experience of infinite light and love. So the way I cancel my belief is I re, uh, re remember or try and re go into these experiences again. Uh, so that I have the authority to cancel. So let me just put the light up there. That's better. So uh, what does that mean? Sorry, I'm having some technical issues there. I'm trying adjusting. So it means that um, when I say I cancel my belief, I see that as being just a thought form. That's a belief, which means it's a very strong thought form that is ingrained in me. So I go, I cancel my belief in kidney failure. Kidney failure is just an illusion. It's just a thought which creates an illusion. So I cancel my belief in that I'm an infinite being. And then it's like I try and go back into the light of my near death and the infinite white light with the teacher. So as to dissolve and refute that, that illusory thought has any substance to it and it can be dissolved in, in God's infinite light and love and it is so the only reason why it keeps showing up in life kidney failure gout asthma is because I re-identify the belief hasn't been washed out so you just uh, wash out those beliefs with intensive cancellations until they no longer exist for you uh, that would be transcendent so that's how I do it let me see if there's any tips uh, during the course in miracles you learn I learned that you should keep doing things throughout the day to protect yourself from picking up those ideas or thoughts or beliefs again. So let's say um, you're having a pain or whatever, you'd just keep, you could set an alarm every hour, or every 10 minutes and just do it just to wash that belief. It will wash quicker. Because if you think a belief is so ingrained to wash it out, you really want to be canceling it out ferociously or throughout the day or doing a lot more if you want to get rid of it. So it's like a ha bad habit that you keep believing it. So you want to undo it with equal, uh, equal capacity, um, whether it's 100 times, two or three times a day, or having an alarm. One. So that would be faster. I mean, obviously, if you've got something that's not annoying, then you might only do it once a day. Um, yeah, so um, if there's any more questions, you can leave questions on my YouTube videos. I'll try and get back. Uh, and do a video at some some point. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, thank you.